Welcome to the chemistry question. Jordan here, and today I just want to give everyone some updates on what I've been doing and some events that are going on that relate back to this channel in some ways, but that are kind of cool and interesting and good and bad. And just kind of varied. So, first, you may recall from the Cobalt video that I have been working on a project to synthesize tristacetylacetone acetonato cobalt 3 otherwise known as cobalt ACAC. And coming back to that project today, we found that the hydrogen peroxide had decomposed too much and therefore didn't oxidize the cobalt properly and instead of a green compound we got sort of a brownish black mess. So we resynthesized everything with stronger hydrogen peroxide that was a lot newer and it still didn't really work. So now we have to figure out what we did wrong and what we made. Another thing, and this is a more positive note, you may recall I made a video and submitted a on why I should get to introduce Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson when he comes and speaks at my school on April 17th. So, a little update on that. I got an email back today that said I am one of the finalists, and I'm very excited about this, so thanks to everyone for your support. And that's really cool. So, in a couple weeks here, I have to compete live for the honor of introducing him. And what they do is they give me a paragraph, and I have ten minutes to memorize it and prepare how I'm going to say it. And then I audition, and if I do it well enough, then they let me introduce him. So... That's kind of exciting, and hopefully that works. I'm a little sad that I don't get to be more creative. I had a plan of doing a titration, screaming, drop the bass, and throw a moon mock in there, because why not? I can. But it is what it is, and I still am really hoping I could get the honor to do that. I think it would be absolutely amazing. But... No matter what, I was told that the five finalist videos are going to be played before the introduction. So, no matter what, I'm going to get my video played in front of 1,200 people before Dr. Tyson walks out. So, I'm really excited about that. It's quite an honor. And now just to throw a little bit of chemistry in here so you're not too bored or too upset by the lack of chemistry. I wanted to talk about isomerism. So, much like isotopes are the same elements, but with differing atomic masses, isomers involve the same compound, but with different structures. So, this uh, you don't usually see in small molecules like methane or carbon dioxide, but you get bigger and bigger molecules, and this starts to play more of a role. So I'm going to use some molecular models to show exactly how this works. So this is a molecular model of ethanol or ethyl alcohol. And we can see the black represents carbon, so we have one, two carbons. White's hydrogen, so one, two, three, four, five, six hydrogens. And red's oxygen, so one oxygen. Now I have another compound here, and this is dimethyl ether. And you can see one, two carbons, one, two, three, four, five, six hydrogens and one oxygen. So these are both the C2H6O, and so they have that same chemical formula, but they have different structures and different properties. 
So for example, ethanol, since the oxygen is bonded to a hydrogen, it becomes a polar molecule and exhibits hydrogen bonding here as well, whereas dimethyl ether is still kind of polar because even though the oxygen's at the center, it's not a straight line, so this area here is a bit more negative than here. That's what causes it to be bent, but therefore ethanol has a higher melting and boiling point and causes intoxication and other fun things. Now, one thing these two both have in common, since they're both organic compounds, is they can both combust into carbon dioxide and water. So I just wanted to show you that, that two compounds with the same chemical formula can have completely different structures. And the bigger and bigger the molecules get oftentimes, the more and more isomers you can have. Thank you for watching the chemistry question. Be sure to subscribe and leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below. Until next time.